about a dog. And this book is called I Am My Own Dog. It's about a dog who thinks he doesn't really need anybody else. But let's read it and see if maybe he's wrong about that. I'm My Own Dog by David Ezra Stein. I'm my own dog. Nobody owns me. I own myself. I work like a dog all day. When I get home, I fetch my own slippers. I curl up at my own feet. Sometimes, if I'm not comfortable, I tell myself to roll over. And I do. If someone told me sit, I wouldn't do it. Even if they said, I'll give you a bone. Sometimes I throw a stick. Then I go get it. It's fun. Every morning when I look in the mirror, I look my own face because I'm so happy to see me. I say, good dog. I'm a good dog. Then I give myself a good scratch. But there's one spot I can't quite reach, right in the middle of my back. Oh, that's the worst. One time, it got so bad, I let someone scratch it. The little guy followed me home. I felt sorry for him. So I got a leash. How else am I supposed to lead him around? Come on, I say, come on, boy. I'll take you to the park. I like showing him things. Look, 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 that is a squirrel, I say. I taught him the stick game. I have him throw. I don't know if he understands all my commands yet, but he's learning. Sit, sit, good boy. Some folks say they're not worth the trouble. You can't keep them from yapping. And you always have to clean up after them. Look at those doggies. Look at that ice cream. I bet they don't mind cleaning up after that. But I've grown attached to the little fella. Between you and me, I'm his best friend. I love this story. I hope you guys liked it too. And I'm grateful that we have friends and best friends and pets. I think we all really do need somebody just like the dog in this book.